Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the 2022 Leaving Cert Ordinary Level Paper 2, Question 1. The question is based on coordinate geometry. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's look at the first question. We have to get the slopes of line AC and BC in the first part so the let's find the slope of ac so let's assign x1 y1 to a so x1 y1 is over here and we're going we can see that it's minus 2 in the x and 0 in the y up on the other side we can see x2 y2 and the point with 0 for the x because it's the y-axis and 3 for the y. So the slope formula in your log tables, page 18, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's substitute in everything and we will get 3 minus 0 over 0 minus minus 2 put the brackets around the minus 2 and then we can change the sign therefore m is equal to 3 over plus 2 that's the first part now we need to find whether or not the slope of bc is perpendicular to the original slope ac so let's get the slope of BC now alright so the point B is 5 0 and we can start again with our formula and we can say this one now is x1 y1 and this one is x2 y2 so slope of BC that's AC and now BC M is equal to y2 0 minus 3 over x2 minus x1 which will be 5 minus 0 and our result is minus 3 over 5 so it's going back it has a negative slope so if we have to prove that they're perpendicular we're going to use this rule m1 multiplied by m2 is equal to minus 1 if perpendicular All right, so the first slope is 3 over 2, and the second slope is minus 3 over 5. And our result for AC and BC combination is minus 9 over 10, which is not perpendicular as it's not equal to minus 1 minus 9 over 10 is not perpendicular we could go like that okay so we can say it's not perpendicular all right so the next part find the length lm so if we if we look at the symmetry then this distance over here is plus 9 in the x direction because that's 9 here so it's another 9 over here in the y direction even though it's negative 9 the length is another 9 okay so if you use the distance formula also if you go minus 9 uh, plus 1 and then use the distance formula you could get it but um, it's so straightforward Maybe just add the two nine. So the total length LM is equal to 18. Write down the equation of the horizontal line LM. Well, if you want to uh, do it out fully and be thorough, we can use the line formula. Y minus Y1 is equal to M by X minus X1. Or as we could just 
um, you know, uh, set y equals to 1, okay, because it's a constant. But let's see, does that work out? So as it's a horizontal line, the slope will be m. So m is equal to 0. So place your 0 here, and then that will make the x value disappear. Okay, and y1, as you can see there, okay, could be the 1. So y minus y1 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to plus 1, just like the original statement. And uh, finally, the line in M has equation x plus 4y minus 13. Find the coordinates of the point N. So the point N is a very specific coordinate. It's called the y-intersect. So that means that on the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So we just say y-axis, therefore x is equal to 0. All right, so let's apply that with the algebra. So we're going to go 0 plus 4y minus 13 is equal to 0. 4y is equal to plus 13. Add your 13 to both sides and we get plus on the right. So therefore y, y is equal to 13 over 4. So our coordinate will be 0 for the x and 13 over 14 on the y-axis. And that's it for question 1. Thank you for joining Maths Plus.